that secures the US challenger. But, there's a but. Coming to Europe wasn't about hitting challenger. Okay, so if I just told you, we can win. Okay, guys, this is going to be a hard game. So it's our game that we need for rank one. And we're against the enemy jungler who peaked rank one last season. He hit rank one last season as a Rengar main. And he's rank 14 right now. Okay. Okay. Woo! All right. 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 Okay. I don't think he's gonna pay my bot side early. Because what I would assume he's gonna do is he's gonna full clear his top side, and then he's gonna look for an invade on my red. But the thing is, I know how to counter it, so it's fun. The reason why I didn't want to sell my Raptors this game is because last season when I played against this guy, I did Raptors side, and he invaded me on my second Raptors spawn. Like, he's actually a really good jungle when it comes to bullshit like that. So I'm just going to do like a standard uh, playstyle of this game because I can just counter him from a standard way. I don't really have to do any kind of like crazy things, you know? I right, watch the trick. Drop ward here and then do Krugs. Now if he comes and invades my red, I have complete vision on him and I just kill him. If he doesn't, I just got a free folk here. Come on, fuck. Bro, if we could have gotten that kill too, it would have been so huge. Nice. Alright, now the good news is I just got reset, and then we should be okay. I don't want to go uh, tabby this game, I also don't want to go merch head, so we're just going to chill on an Ionian rush. So what some Rengar players will sometimes do is, when they get tilted, when they lose early, they just instant invade your Gromp. Because he's going to commit for like, a serrated Dirk, and I only have Ionian boots. So I, I need to be careful of that. Yeah, see. Yeah, that's the thing, it's just like... Perfect. I'm just going to back off because the Nivea kills us no matter what here. There we go. Alright, nice. Well, respect to my lolly for actually doing exactly what she needs to do there. Salas could be invading me on wolves here, so that's why I'm like walking up here. So that if he like boss cones over, at least I can run away. The good news is now, I'm actually at a point where I have a lead over Rengar that he can't actually do those invades anymore. So I think we're actually okay. Alright, I really want to look for a bot opportunity here. There is a chance so that Rengar is slain ganking bot. You know what? No, I'm not even gonna look for a play here. I'll just back off. And then I'll just send a Kindle gem and I grab a log sword and then I should be okay with this. Alright, well the good news is now I'm actually insanely hard spiked. I have Alita, I have Ghost, I have ults, I have everything. Uh... I was gonna actually look for, like, an invade, but no. I can just, like, kill this guy. And now since Rengar shows by, I can just get a free invade off. I just need to hope that Quinn doesn't rotate down. Nice. That was actually muscle memory, like I'm not even kidding. I didn't I didn't mean to flash the mastery six, like <laughs> so just muscle memory. Cause I actually really like this guy. He comes to my stream and he like even last season he was saying Dantes, you have what it takes to be rank one, you just gotta get your shit together, bro. Oh, 
Oh, the good news is I get my Shochun on back. Enemy gets Herald, which means now we take Dragon and then we invade their bot side. I should actually look for this. <sighs> I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I had a four man out there and it wasn't enough, which I don't understand. Good news is, Lara gets a complete tower top, and since she's like gonna be a side lane demon this game, it's gonna be okay for us. I also have my complete shot or uh, complete charge now. Maybe I should just give it that drag, but giving double neutral when I'm like 4 0 is just like really annoying. I'm gonna. Okay, so if they don't go for drag, then I'll just go towards it and I'll be okay. Alright, nice. Got the shotgun. Nice. I'll just get those Krugs, and then after that I can look for a uh, drag. Nice. I mean, there's someone that he can actually, like, run in here, right? Like, I play Rengar sometimes. If I see this fight opportunity, I'm never going for whatever. Jin is mid, so what I want to do is I just want to take Dragon and then sell and bot for, like, a wave or two. I don't want to overcommit, though, just in case uh, Quinn collapses. If anything, all I have to do now is I just play for... Play for full clears, and then we just play for a Jag stack, and we'll be okay. Are they really on this? Tell me if they're actually waiting for a four man invade my top set there. I mean, if she ever tries fighting me here, I just pop Ghost and I run her down. Even without ults, I still kill. You know what? I'll reset for Gorchung and then contest Herald. Yeah, I think that's the best play. Because Rengar is resetting too, so we actually have, like, a timing advantage. I have Gorchunker, I have Ghost, I have ult, I have literally everything I could ever need. Okay. And while we dies, we trade Herald for it. That's good. Okay, for some reason, Anivia and Jin are both going mid, so I mean, so I'm just gonna take side lane, I guess. I mean, the thing is, Rengar does have two items, so he could actually, like, one shot me. Even though, like, I'm fed, he's insanely strong right now. a shutdown trade but you know what I'll just sign an executioners here oh my god because if I saw an executioners he shouldn't at least heal to his entire health bar and it's also gonna help versus us too nice Thank god me and Rakan managed to find that pick there. That's actually like really 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 good for us. Cause now we get the mid tower play and we also got the shag. Game is usually so winnable. Okay, Lowy 1v3 in the side lane. My guess is Rengar tries collapsing on that. Someone just invaded his top side here then.
Okay. I mean, I think there's a chance I could actually turn this, no? No. All I need is Serax. Alright, why don't we go face check? Let's just hope I don't get outsmited here. Remember when I said, let's hope I don't get outsmited here? Well, I got outsmited. I mean, the thing is, like, if Rengar leaps in, his leap plus smite is, like, 1,700 damage. So that's the reason why I, like, backed off and was trying to get an angle where I could, like, ult to secure, but... No, it just doesn't work. Nice. Play for this, Shag. I mean, it's kind of crazy to think that we're 23 minutes in and I still have 100% kill participation, but... <sighs> if you want challenger, you gotta work for it, right? What do you want me to say? All right, nice, not bad. Maybe Death Sansa as the next item would be good. Or if I really want to go for like a maximum carry, I go, I go, I just go Serolda's. Serolda's next might actually be a movie because then the enemy team can't actually run for me. Yeah, I think Serolda's next. No way. <gasps> oh my god! I don't have 100% KP anymore. Should we just force Baron? I mean, yeah, I just need not miss my smite again. Got him? Okay! I mean, it's a 1 for 1. 1 for 1 trade isn't bad. Another good news is I actually have my shoulders too. That's huge. Oh, we also open opens up that tower. Nice. Oh, the Recon? They got Zaya! Wait! Come on. <laughs> no way. I don't think Rengar can just like jump in and try for 1v3. Double inhib down, perfect. Play slow, play slow, play slow, play slow. Okay, I'm just gonna run trade to that blue to keep Q sacks and then look for some kind of play. I mean, if he goes to trade Baron for soul, is that really worth? I'm gonna say if they can just zone, no other way, this is actually game winning. Soul secured? He's forced to flash if he wants to live. Sorry, man. Wait, can we just like shut up walk in and end? I don't think they can hold these waves. 
Zai's alive though now. We'll see. Let me just back off, wait for five, and then we'll be good. To be honest, if I can sell my Sereldas for another item, I think it's way better right now. Uh, what would I want to get, though? I guess Randu wins, honestly. Like, Zaya, Rengar are both double crit. No, they have triple crit, actually. Randu wins is actually really, really good here. Wait, what? Wait, can she 1v3 this with ult? Okay, not bad. Okay, listen, hopefully with Rando and Zal, I won't just get like literally one tapped, but I mean, it should help a lot because before I had literally zero armor and now I have Rando in, so maybe this will help. So, we're con, we're con. What are you. Whoa, what the fuck? This guy just walked on his own. Wait, that's just. Okay. to dethrone the former rank one to get rank one or uh, to get challenger oh my god <sighs> that secures the us challenger but there's a but coming to europe wasn't about hitting challenger coming to europe was about getting mentally ready for the second korea trip the second korea trip happening in about 17 days from now. So hitting Challenger EU again is nice. But it's not why I came here. I came here to prepare myself for Korea. And it's for that reason that we're not going to stop queuing today. We run it back.